they have a covering, you say that what? Represents what? It said it represents life, but it don't represent the most high God. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Read. That they may add sin to sin. That they may add what to what? Sin to sin. That they may add sin to sin. Right now you add sin to sin. Right. You understand what I'm saying? By having an idol on your neck. That's an idol, bro. Read. That walk to go down unto Egypt. It says sin unto sin that walk down to go into where? Egypt. Uh -huh. And have not asked at my mouth to screen themselves in the screen of Pharaoh and to trust in shadow of Egypt. Right now you trusting in the shadow of Egypt. Bring it out. You understand what I'm saying? Do you are the Egyptians still uh roaming around? Do they have pharaohs still to this day? It's a shadow. That's right. You trusting in the shadow of Egypt right now. Teacher. Right. You understand? It's a it's an idolatry. It's an idolatrous mind that we have. That's where our people wearing Christian crosses. Right. They wearing the cross. Right. They wearing the ump. They wearing the uh what they call that? The little the little, the little hand, hamster, and, and all that. All that all that is idolatry. Right. All that is idolatry that we should not be living in. That's right. Back you got some more in there? Read that. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Because you ain't living no life. You had to go to work this morning, huh? Is that a life you should want to live? That's life, though. Nah, that ain't life. Because you're supposed, you're supposed to be owning the shop. Make it play. You understand what I'm saying? Your oppressor's supposed to be coming to work for you. Right. Play. This whole land is supposed to be for you. That's right. That's life. But you ain't living no life. So that art cannot represent what you're saying it is. Read. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. You confused, bro. And when I asked you, I said, man, what you believe? Man, I don't, I don't even know. Right? Something along those words of, man, I don't even know. Shit, I've been all over the place. But this Bible brings us to our true history. That's right. Our true nationality. That's right. Because we have been taught so many lies. Right. You understand what I'm saying? We have been taught so many things to believe in that has been a lie. Because we have right. been taught by our oppressors. Pharaoh was once our oppressor. Right. Egypt had us in oppression. That's right. You understand? Read. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 18. Bring it out. What prophet? The graven image. So what prophet is that to you? It's not. Right? right. Read. That the maker thereof had graven it. The, the molten image and the teacher of lies. It says the molten image and the teacher of lies. It has, it's teaching you lies right now. That's Would right. you rather believe the truth or a lie? So, what you think that is? What you think that idol is? You think that's the truth? I don't idolize what I wear. Uh huh? So I don't idolize what I wear. Well, in order to wear it, you gotta idolize it because you got to pick it up, you got to put it on. Matter of fact, you got to buy, you got to turn your neck this way. Right. You got to buy it out just to put it on your neck. That's right. You don't think so? Not really. So how you put it on? So what is it, what is it represent? It's life. What, well, explain to me the life. Explain to me the life that's in it. Explain to me the life that's in it. That's all. That's all there is to it. No, I'm saying, explain it to me. Like, I ain't got no explanation for it. Why not? It's dope. But you win. Like, if, I, if I'm wearing something, I got an explanation for it. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You know? If I'm coming out of the scriptures, I got an explanation for it into what I believe. Right now, you believe in blind. Don't go nowhere, bro. I need you to get this, too. You believe in blind right now. You blind. So would you continue to live a lie and believe in a lie? But you don't believe it's a lie, though, huh? Okay. Do you believe in this Bible? Not really. Not really? Not too much of nothing. Huh? Not too much of anything. All right. I Finish that. Rebecca 2. Huh? I said, I don't even read it to be honest with you. But do you know that it pertains only to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians? Not really. Not really? No, I'm saying, like, I don't read it, so I don't. Well, that's what we're going over. That's what we're trying to fill you in. You know what I'm saying? To come out of that idolatrous mind that you have, that the mindset that you have. That's yes. right. You understand what I'm saying? Because you believe in a, in a job, you go to work. You gotta pay. You gotta pay rent. You gotta pay bills. Right. That's believable. But everything else is not. It's it's like it's, it's, it's fiction. It is what it is. That's the attitude that you give off. You know what I'm saying? 
And what the attitude comes behind that item. Right. Because that ain't real. Teach, huh? You understand what I'm saying? Read. That's right. What profit the graven image? So what profit the um? What profit the Christian cross? What 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 profit is that? That the maker thereof had graven it, uh -huh. the molten image, and a teacher of lies. It's a teacher of lies. It ain't teaching you nothing. Because right. you can't even explain to me what it means. Right. Ah. It's a teacher of lies. Huh? I know you just weird. But I'm asking you, like, I want, okay, I want to put it on. I want, I want to wear one. How would you explain it to me so I could put one on? That's just your decision. If you want to wear it, wear it. So you just blind, so would you wear a wig? Nope. Why not? Why would I? I'm asking, why would you? Okay. Would you wear a dress? No. Why not? That's my choice. So why do you wear a um? To have no thought to why you put it on, you just put it on. That's what I'm asking. Why? Choice. Choice to do what? To put it on if I choose to. You choose to, but you know that it's leading to death. Right. Huh? No, I'm saying it's leading you to death. If I was to put on a dress, I'm leading myself to death. Right. You wouldn't put on no dress. Hell no. Why would it, why, why would you not put on a dress? I'm saying, why would you not put on a dress? And I say for what, but why would you not put one on? I'm not a woman. Exactly. So are you an idol worshiper? So then why would you wear an idol? Right. It's my decision to. You, it's, it's your decision, decision to, to wear an idol. Just wear it, man. Like I said, All right. that I believe in. All right. I, I'm, I'm going with that. I'm going with that. I just want you to understand out of the scriptures, you're in the midst of idolatry. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like you said, you come from the what? Tribe of what? You come from the tribe of Judah. It is a, a, a commandment. But you saying that you come from the tribe of Judah, knowing that you an Israelite, there's a requirement of you. God has a requirement of your acknowledgement that you come from the tribe of Judah. This ain't no free thing. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You have a requirement. Let's jump to the requirement real quick. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Of knowing you come from the tribe of Judah, here's your requirement. Then I'm going to go back to that item. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? So Israel, Israel is our forefather, right? That's right. Israel's name, or his name was once first Jacob. His name was changed to Israel, right? Israel had 12 sons. We come out of the 12 sons of Israel. That's right. One of the sons that you named of is Judah, right? It means God's praise. So you representing God's praise. God does not praise an idol. Right. He does not praise that arm. And by you worshiping that arm, it's woe unto you, meaning destruction unto you. That's because right. Because it's destroying your mind. Teach. Y you understand what I'm saying? Because you have no explanation to why you even wear it. This is why you have no explanation. You believing in that white man. Believe it or not, Christianity, Egyptology, all that is tied in, one, in, in the same. That's right. If you go into Egypt and you show this, they're going to say who that is. They're going to that's Jesus. Bring it up. But when you read the Bible, the Bible says it's the devil. So damn, who lying? Who telling the truth? I'm going to believe in what the Bible say. Right. You understand what? Because the Bible is going to show me my truth, the true depiction of the Messiah. It's going to tell me who his people are. Right. You understand? And who his people are not. So even to this day, the Bible is still real. You understand? Right. Finish that, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Now, and now Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? So what does God require of us knowing that we Israel? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. He said to walk in all his ways, right. meaning turn from idolatry. Read. Read. And to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God 
with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep the commandments. That's the requirement of every Israelite man, Israelite woman. Right. Every man saying that he's from the tribe of Judah, every woman saying she's from the tribe of Judah. Every Israelite man and woman. It's a requirement that we keep the commandments of God. Teach, right. You understand? Do you think there's an afterlife after this? Where are we going after this? Have you, have, have you ever thought about it? Have you ever, have, where, where am I going after this? What's, what's, the, what's, the, what's to happen after I die? Is that just it? Or everybody going to heaven? You haven't thought about it? Okay. Well, let me put some more on your brain. Go back to the uh, Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 18. What profit the graven image that the maker thereof had graven it? So what profit is the graven image? What, what profit is that to you, to an Israelite man, to a prince that has power with the Most High God? Right. To God's praise. What profit is that image to you? Read. The molten image and a teacher of lies. It's a molten image and it's a teacher of lies. Right. A man came and made that. It's a teacher of lies. There's no, there's no truth in that. Read. That the maker of this, of his work, trusted therein uh -huh. to make dumb idol. It's a dumb idol. Right. You sound dumb trying to explain it to me. No disrespect. You understand? But the answer that you give me, it sounds dumb because it's a representation of that idol. Right. What does it mean? I just weird. Well, why you weird? I don't know. But I ain't say I don't know. It's just my choice. You understand? Go to read the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 22. Matter of fact, go to Deuteronomy 7, 25, then go back to Isaiah 30. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 25. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 25. No. The graven image of their gods. The graven image of their gods? Because what you represent, you represent their gods. You represent the gods of the Egyptians. Right. That's what you represent. You're not representing the most high God, our God. You understand? No. You're representing the uh, other nations' God, the Egyptians' gods. Read. Shall ye burn with fire. So what does the Bible say you're supposed to do with that thing? Burn with fire. So what do you think you're supposed to do with that item? Burn it. Burn it with fire. That's, That's right. right. Read. Thou shalt not desire the silver or the gold that is on them. It said thou shalt not desire the what? The silver or gold that is upon them. It says don't even desire the silver or gold that is on them, man. It ain't shiny, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Put some diamonds on that thing. Right. No, don't desire the silver or gold that is on them. Ain't nothing wrong with the chain. You understand? It's the idol behind it. Right. Because it's a teacher of lies. It ain't teaching you nothing. Bring it out. You understand? Because you can't even explain. That's how I know it's not teaching you anything. Read. Nor take it unto thee, lest indeed be snared therein. Don't take it on you. You said you ain't bowed out. You just had to put it on or whatever, right? Don't even take it up on you. Don't even put it on you. Lest you be snared therein. Because what you think gonna happen to all these other idols? When, when, when Christ cracked the sky. What you think gonna happen to the idols? They're going to burn up in Paris. So what you think everybody that's wearing it, what you think is going to happen to them? It's the same fate. The same fate. You, ready? You, you want to see that day? Okay then, so read. For it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. It's an abomination to the Lord thy God. It right. ain't about uh, your choice. It's right. about the Most High God's choice. That's right. Most High God hate that thing. Right. It's an abomination to him. See. You understand? It ain't, a it ain't a matter whether or not you like it or not. Shit, hell with it. What, what you like, I don't like it. That's what, that's what this Bible is saying. Right. That's how God does not like that thing. It's an abomination unto him. Read. Right. Neither shall thou bring an abomination unto thy house. Neither shall it enter into your house. So what should you do? Man, chunk the idol. That's right. Get it away from you. That's Read. Right. Let's thou be a cursed thing like it. Because it's not life. That's a curse. Right. You understand? That's a curse that you have on your neck. Right. That's a curse that you believe in then because you can't explain it. A grown man should be able to explain everything that he's doing. Right. You understand what I'm saying? When we go, if we ever catch a charge or whatever, we got to go to court. We got to explain to the judge why we did what we did or why we didn't do what we do. So there's an explanation. God has an explanation. I want to know why, why that's on your neck. Why are you doing that? That's all this whole Bible is talking about. Why are you doing the things that you're doing? Why are you sinning the way that you're sinning? I'm right. giving you law, statutes, and commandments of how to live, how to keep life. But it's war unto you. 
a rebellious people. Remember, bro, a rebellious people. Nah, I just like it. That's me. Because I, I want it. That's rebellious. You understand? Right. Give me more. But thus shall utterly detest it. But you shall utterly detest it. To detest up means if you see that, that dog mess back there, you're going to utterly detest that. You're going to wear that, you're going to bring that dog mess in your house? If you step on it, you're going to leave your shoes outside, ain't it? Or you're going to clean your shoes before you go inside. You're going to make sure you don't get no dog mess on the rug, right? Right. You should utterly detest that thing. That's what the Most High God is telling us about these idols. Detest it. Hate that thing. Read. And th thou shalt utterly abhor it. You should utterly abhor it means hate it. First you should detest it, meaning, man, I, damn, huh, abhor it, hate it. Like, I don't even want it in my sight. Right. right. For it, it is a cursed thing. Because it is a cursed thing. It is a cursed thing. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!